Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the leaks that came in today of a brand new Legendary Path Dirk Nowitzki set of packs that will be dropping tomorrow in my team. So very intrigued to see how this card and how this drop is in my team. We're just going to be talking about this drop real quickly, talking about which cards you could maybe expect in the drop as well, and I'm definitely excited to get into that today. So um, as y'all can see, Legendary Path Dirk is coming soon. Jason Kidd, Danny Granger, and Brandon Jennings as well uh, are going to be coming in to the game. So a pretty decent little pack drop here. Danny Granger and Jason Kidd are certainly interesting as well, but I actually think Dirk is probably the most interesting card here because of the fact that he is such a good catch and shoot shooter. And that's what's so interesting to me about a Dirk card is if he has decent speed, his shooting could make him a seriously good option at the power or at the center position because he is also seven foot one. So the size will be there. The athletic ability is certainly going to be the question with Dirk. And that's that's what we're going to talk about in today's video is first of all just previewing how good a dirt could be so let's take a look at their stats right here you got a seven foot one power forward center seven three wingspan this is from the 90 overall dirt that we got last year 55 speed 50 excel 37 speed with ball 75 interior 74 block a 75 standing dog and an 87 shot three he had bronze limitless range though a bunch of great shooting badges and then not much in terms of playmaking defense or finishing the 94 overall was the similar was basically the same card except he was 60 speed if we were to get a 60 speed dark i think that's fast enough to where he can compete but his release is always a bit baited for one and also he's going to be very slow now he's my favorite player of all time so i'm glad we're getting a dark early because this is the closest he'll be to being usable this year but i'm a little bit worried that he's not going to be good enough to truly make lineups i mean we got this diamond dirk last year september 30th and he didn't make anybody's team so a little worried that we're going to struggle with dirk being too slow to truly play on people's squads because he's probably going to have mid 50s speed he needs honestly mid 60s to really be good, I feel like. Jason Kidd, on the other hand, uh, another guy who got an early card last year was his diamond, though. It will not be this good of a card. Jason Kidd definitely will not be this good. I mean, you're probably looking at mid 80s speed uh or sorry high 80s speed high 80s excel maybe low 90s maybe but i would be very surprised if jason kidd speeds in the 90s like even this all-time uh amethyst 94 speed i just don't think jason kidd's gonna have 94 speed because the fastest point guard in the game is diamond Kyrie, who has 93 i don't think jay kidd will have that much speed i think probably closer to 90 maybe high 80s uh low 90s but he will be a capable shooter probably mid 70s three ball and a very very good perimeter defender in addition to being six foot four i don't know what his animations are looking like in game but i do think you could be looking looking at a very, very good defensive PG in this Jason Kidd who can kind of be a secondary ball handler offensively. You play him next to a Devin Booker, Brandon Roy, Jason Tatum, those types of guys at the two and the three guys who can create their own shots at a pretty high level. And Jason Kidd could be a really versatile, good card. And that's a card I'm definitely interested in. And then we finally have Danny Granger, uh, or I guess Brandon Jennings as well, but I'm not super excited about uh, Brandon Jennings, but this Danny Granger, we got a season one Danny Granger last year. We got him in October, but he's 6'9 with 7'1 wingspan at power forward, small forward, just like this one. I don't expect Danny Granger's stats to be this good either. Obviously, he's a ruby. I think you're looking at high 70s speed, probably 78 or 79, uh, probably mid 80s, 30 ball at 86 or so, and then probably 75 driving dunk, high 70s perimeter and lateral, low 70s interior and block, maybe even in the 60s. Pretty good small forward, not a great defender though. I think honestly, this card will probably be quite similar to Steven Jackson, Keegan Murray, and a bunch of the other budget small forwards that we have, guys like Matt Barnes and Jordan Walsh on the same level as those guys. Not quite as much 3 and D, but more of an offensively centered small forward. But I'm not sure he's going to have the movement quite enough to really justify being on people's teams as that more offensively minded small forward. So for me personally, I'm not sure Danny Granger will have a team on a spot on my team either. Now, the other thing to remember with this promo is that it is locking in for Shaq. So it does have the potential for sure, I would say, to... I, I, I just you, you have to get it if you're going to get Shaq and Shaq is going to be dominantly good but for me personally I'm honestly not sure if I'm going to be locking in Shaq myself so I don't know if I want to spend the VC on the set depends on how good Dirk and Jason Kidd and Danny Granger are though to be completely honest because if they're really good cards tomorrow I will 100% be picking them up getting y'all's gameplays and trying them out on my team and if they're not particularly good well we'll have to see I'd like to still get y'all gameplays and everything but not certain I haven't decided yet if I'm going to lock in for Shaq and this drop has potential but it also could be pretty poor so we'll definitely find that out tomorrow with that being said that is good for this video just wanted to get you all a quick leaks video so hopefully you did enjoy if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon i appreciate y'all peace